I thought I thought Derica is going to say if Justin can do it, Faker can do it. So get out there, will you? It's fun. It's a, I, right now it's beautiful. So I thought grilling is a perfect subject to talk about. I want to talk to you about all the whys. Why do we do what we do in grilling? Grilling is basically a source of heat that we introduce to a raw ingredient. Now, the grill is an equipment that we use to create that heat. That's all it is. So you can do everything on the grill, or you can do some of the things that I love to do because I like to tease your palate and create different textures. Potatoes, I think, is a magnificent white canvas to grill. Why? Because it's very high starch content, and it browns really beautifully, and it becomes a white canvas to absorb the rest of the flavors you've created on the grill. But you cannot take such a high cam um, starch content and put it directly on the grill. It's going to burn on the outside, and it's going to stay raw in the middle. But you leave it more, and it's going to burn more. So this is the trick, everybody. We're going to slice some nice eighth of an inch thick slices of potato, and we're going to go inside some hot water. Now, the beauty of this is that when we put it in the hot water, you got to taste this water and make sure it tastes like the water of the sea. So we're going to add enough sea salt in there, and you're going to say, well, how much is that? Do you taste it? No? Then it needs a little bit more, and that's why it's crucial you add your salt into water when it's boiling, so it rehydrates right away. Next, we're going to take some eggplant, and we're going to do a nice quarter, eighth of an inch thick eggplant. We're going to take some red pepper. We're going to do nice round egg peppers, red ones. Let's do some green. Let's do some yellow. Oops, I'm not as perfect as I thought I was. Now, another one. Asparagus, everybody. We love grilled asparagus, don't we? But we make the mistake of putting it directly on the grill. And what happens? The fibers that are the connecting fibers and the exterior fibers crisp up on you, burn, and there is no fun. So we're going to do the same thing here. Potatoes first, asparagus are next. They're going to go in that same water. Do they fit? Of course they don't, because Fekker didn't do his homework today. While we have these, and we're waiting for the asparagus and the potato to warm up and cook through, we're going to take these and put them right here in a bowl. We're going to take that eggplant that we cut over here. We're going to do a nice, thick, and bias in an angle. That's what bias means of zucchini, a bias of yellow squash. And that's all in there, right? I also want to talk to you about some portobello, beautiful, meaty mushrooms. This part of the portobello, if you take it out, you don't have that blackening that dark color that happens when you grill or when the portobellos are running their juices. So this is the choice, everybody. It's not a must, but if you want that beautiful, meaty flavor without the color, then you take these parts out. And that's going to go down there. If you want to make some stock and you want to save this, that's not going to be a good one. Why? Because it's going to turn your stock very dark. So everything in here, salt. Sea salt, pure, make sure it says pure. A little bit of white pepper, why white pepper? It dissolves instantly and it doesn't stick on the grill. Extra virgin olive oil, and don't worry about cooking or grilling with extra virgin olive oil because you're never gonna reach over 385 degrees and that's the smoke point of olive oil. And we're gonna go on here and we're gonna start the grilling process. Bell peppers are on. Before we started this segment, I grilled also some chicken because I know Derica and the crew, they want their chicken. They're protein freaks, they love it. So they want their vegetables, they want their chicken, and they want a green salad. That's what we're going to put together if weather permitting. That I don't know. The only person who knows that is Britt. Britt, weather is permitting or not? <laughs> weather is permitting for the morning. Into